So hey Squirrel, greetings from Michigan. Um, love your videos, they're great. They've gotten me and my friends even more into RC. I was majorly into the hobby and it got some of my other friends in it. And Watch your videos every week, they're fantastic. I just had a couple of questions. One of them I didn't n quite know how to word into an email, so I decided I'd post a video up on it instead, you know, help other people. Sort of what you do, except you're the one helping everybody. So what I did is on my original Emacs, I had this Mamba. 2200. It's now on my caster. And I had a Mamba 2200, and it actually candy caned my drive shafts. So, what I was wondering is how can I fix these drive shafts? What I did was from Traxxas, I ordered the new drive shafts for my Emacs because these are the only ones available. I couldn't go steel because they actually don't have the steel ones for this Emacs. But I was wondering if you had any suggestions for how to get this drive, this yoke on the end of this drive shaft. I've actually split a few because I've tried to spread the two prongs apart, and it's ended up splitting the drive shaft in half. So I was just wondering if you had any suggestions on how to get how to get that yoke into the end of the drive shaft. And if you could post up a video just a, in one of your ask rolls, that'd be great. Another question I had was that with the candy caning of drive shafts on the Emacs. I originally had that Castle Creations Mamba 2200, and I took off of I put that on my caster, and off of my caster I took this Fusion 1800. I was wondering if this Fusion 1800 would actually produce, or would actually cause the drive shafts to candy cane less than with that Mamba, because I obviously don't want to be replacing these drive shafts for ever. So I was wondering if this if this motor would prevent the drive shafts from candy caning even less. Uh, that's it for now. Um, once again, great videos. Hope to hear a response from you soon.